Welcome back to Wow Mom Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to save some money and still cook with Wow. So grab your pens, your papers, and your aprons and let's get cooking with Wow. every week in your mail so this comes I look at it I see what gra fabulous deals they have going they also have coupons that you cut out at the top I also am a member of their friends rewards club so what that does is every time I shop I scan my card and I earn points now I want to tell you that today I spent thirty two dollars and twenty five cents and I want you to see what I got for that so I'm gonna empty my bag that I got here and show you and we're going to cook today from everything we got. I got three, just over three pounds of chicken, three and a quarter pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. I got breakfast for tomorrow. It's a triple berry reduced fat cup crumb cake. I also got breakfast for today that we already ate. It was yo Greek yogurt with some cut up fruit and granola. I got an apple pie for dessert tonight. I got a loaf of sourdough bread, tomatoes, I got onions, I got some, this is going to go on our chicken, it's spinach artichoke dip and I'm going to show you how to do that today, a container of Greek yogurt, limes and lemons, I got four beautiful fabulous peaches and we're going to use that for part of our uh, dinner also, we're going to have a fruit salad. I got a container of Greek yogurt, and I'll show you what that's going to be for. Oh, there's two containers there. I also got a new uh, silicone brush that I needed. We got a head of lettuce. Remember, this is all for $32. I got some sugar snap peas that are part of dinner tonight. We got a package of cilantro because I don't have any more out in my garden. I got... A pineapple oh this thing smells so delicious it's gonna be great for our fruit salad I also got some orange and green peppers these are organic which is absolutely fabulous we're gonna take all of this we got three meals at least here because we had breakfast this morning because I had the yogurt you don't see here we've got the crumb cake for breakfast tomorrow morning we've got everything we need for a great dinner with a dessert and we have some bread so that what we can do is with the leftover chicken, we're going to make uh, sandwiches for tomorrow. Oh, and I forgot. One other thing, a little treat we have here. I also got a lemon dream cake. So all of this was $32.25. I'm going to fill up my pantry, and then we're going to get cooking with Val with that chicken and the uh, artichoke spinach dip. See you in a minute. Okay, now that my pantry's filled up with all these great buys I have, I'm going to show you how to make the sauce for the chicken first. What we're going to do is take this spinach artichoke dip. We're going to add a little bit of Greek nonfat yogurt to it because we're going to extend this and make it a little bit uh, not quite as thick as it comes in this because we want it to coat all of our chicken and let the chicken kind of suck up some of this wonderful flavors we have here. So we're going to put this whole container. Oh, and it smells really good as it is. This is a great dip and I've had it before. So. We've got this. We're going to add one container of Greek yogurt. We're going to also add a little bit of garlic because I really like garlic. We want a little bit more garlic in here. And then uh, mix it all up. And then we're also going to um, put on top of this when, after we put the chicken in the dish. I'll show you. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of the um, shaved Parmesan cheese that I have on top of it. Okay, so there's those two things mixed together. This time, instead of crushing our garlic, we're going to use this microplaner to shave some of it in here. Because since it's going to bake, some nice thin pieces would be really, really delicious. So just be really careful when you use this because it definitely can get your fingers. They're super sharp. 
And this is not something you want to have your kids do on this one. They could crush the garlic, but slicing it like this is a bad idea. So we've got it all mixed in here. And we're going to make our other sauce too. We're going to make our fruit sauce before we uh, get going on the chicken because we have the bowls out and we're ready to go. We're going to let this sit and kind of mix together. You can see it kind of thinned out just a little bit, which is what we want because we want it to spread all over the chicken. So I'm going to set this aside for just a minute. And I'm going to show you how to make the sauce for our fruit. We've got that delicious pineapple. We've got peaches. Um, I also have some extra grapes I have around, which is great for dipping things. Let's get rid of these. We've got Greek yogurt for this again, too. We don't need a lot of it because you just want to get a little flavor on when you're uh, dipping your fruit. We don't want to cut it, coat, completely coat it, and we don't want to cover it. So we're going to get all this yogurt out. We're going to add some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar will definitely just kind of um, melt into the Greek yogurt we have here, sweeten it up a little bit, and then I've got one other little thing we're going to put in here. We're going to put a couple of teaspoons, should be enough, little heaping ones. Mix it in good, and then I have something I've been dying to use. I picked up this wonderful smelling, delicious looking cane sugar that is flavored with key lime. Any kind of citrus is a great thing to flavor your yogurt with when you're going to use it as a dip for fruit. It adds a little kick to it, makes it a little bit more tasty, and it is going to be amazing. So let me grab that. I have it right here. This is one of the Wow Mom finds. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, this smells wonderful, I'm telling you. We're just going to put some sprinkles in here. This is going to have time to melt, even though it's regular cane sugar, which I will show you. You can see it looks like what people call raw sugar, and it is just delicious. We're going to put it in here. We're going to let it mix up. That's also why we only put a little bit of uh, the powdered sugar in here. We don't want it to be too sweet. So what we're going to do is we'll cover both of these, put them in the refrigerator while we get our chicken and our fruit ready. When our fruit is just about ready, we'll give this another stir, and I have a really neat container to put it in. I'm going to show you guys. So we're going to set this aside, put everything in the fridge, and I'll get the chicken out and show you what we're doing next. We've got our chicken out of the refrigerator and we're ready to show you what to do with that now. This chicken is, like I said, it's a boneless, skinless chicken. It's $1.99 a pound, so it's a great price for every day. Sometimes you can find it on sale cheaper. The only thing that I paid regular price for was this chicken and our onions because I was out of onions and I needed some more, so I couldn't wait. So we've got ni four nice big chicken breasts here. They look great. What all we're going to do right now is just trim some of the fat off, and we're probably going to cut these into a little bit smaller pieces so we can get more of that sauce to cover the whole chicken. So we're just going to cut the fat off. And because they're so big and beautiful, and all four of these are big and beautiful like this, what I'm going to do is kind of slice them so that where they're going to be at a diagonal. So we keep a lot of the meat in a big piece, and I'll show you. We're going to do just like this. Turns it into two pieces that look fabulous and are big enough to be a serving for someone. We're going to do this with all four pieces. There's not a lot of extra fat on here, which is great. I know that uh, you want to have a little bit of fat so that you can have some great taste when you're doing this, but you don't want to have too much. And look at that. Look at the size of that. That's beautiful. So the chicken here was $6.50 total. So if you figure we cut these, these chicken breasts into two pieces, that gives us, what is that? We have eight pieces of chicken that we're getting for this dinner, which is amazing. It's a great price, and I'm just so thrilled to have something like this that we can do and have a great meal and have it be you know, really inexpensive and easily serve people that we need to serve. So here we go. We're going to take this. I'm almost finished here. We're going to drizzle this with some, uh, we've got it right here. I don't want to touch it because I'm going to wash my hands before we move on to this. We have some Meyer Lemon Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's from Gianni's Fine Foods. I found them at uh, the Gourmet Experience last year. I had seen them before at some of the farmer's markets that I have visited. They're a great family-owned company, and they have some great products. I'm going to show you how to use those. I'm going to get rid of this fat wash my hands and we're going to move on to the next step. 
Okay, got our hands clean, and we're going to put some olive oil on these beautiful chicken breasts. I'm going to go ahead and pour just a teeny bit into the bottom of this baking dish I have. And then we're going to put them all in and pour some olive oil over the top. And then we've got our mix back out with that artichoke spinach, and we will put that on there also. Now, we're going to just put these in here, layer them nicely. This looks delicious. Oof. Wait till you see that sauce. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. It's taken on a beautiful, beautiful color. We're going to arrange these so we know they're all in here good. We're going to now grab a paper towel. I don't want to touch this or else I'll just wash it afterwards if I have to. We're going to drizzle some of this olive oil on here. It has a wonderful, wonderful smell. It has a wonderful taste. Um, I've used this before in recipes, and I've told you guys about this. You can find these guys locally at some of the farmer's markets. Um, you can also find them online. It's uh, giannisfinefoods.com, and they have some wonderful products. Now, here is our beautiful spinach artichoke dip mix that we made, and I'm telling you, it's gorgeous. It's, it smells wonderful, and you are going to love this. We are going to put all of this on top of this chicken. We want this to bake down in between the pieces and just soak up this wonderful flavor. And this is going to be a delicious, delicious meal. I'm going to get all of this out of here. And then we're going to spread it across the chicken. If you could smell this, I'm telling you, you would want to eat it right now. Could have saved a little bit of this dip and uh, some bread so we had something to snack on. Just a little, you know, a little something to snack on while you're making yourself hungry, making some wow dinners. Okay, that looks incredible. We're going to sprinkle some uh, shaved Parmesan cheese on top of this. It's going to brown up beautifully. This right here is a half cup. These are some awesome little uh, little measuring cups I got. Um, they're good if you have something uh, kind of like, say, you have sour cream or the Greek yogurt, anything like that. You can scrape them out real good or anything that you just want to pour. They work fabulous. So we're going to stick this in the oven, and we're going to let this cook while we make some fruit salad and a regular salad to go with uh, this wonderful dinner that we got here. And I'm telling you, you're going to love this. I'll be right back. We have everything cleaned up, washed the cutting board, disinfected it from all that chicken, and now we're going to move on to our fruit. We're going to make some fabulous fruit, kind of a fruit salad, but not all mixed up. We're going to have pieces of fruit to dip in that fabulous dip that we made. So the first thing we're going to do is I want to show you this really neat thing I got. These are champagne grapes, by the way. That's why they're so tiny. They are delicious, and they make for great decoration. Um, but what I want to show you first, this little thing. This is a really neat thing that I found. You stick this into a fresh lemon, fresh lime, fresh orange, whatever you want, and you get fabulous fresh juice that you can spritz on anything you're doing. You just push it right in, and you give it a little spritz, and there you go. We're going to use this to spray onto our fruit just a little bit after we get it all sliced up so that it doesn't turn brown while we uh, have it sitting waiting for everything else to get ready. So that was absolutely fabulous. I love that. We're going to make um, some watermelon slices with a, a yellow watermelon like we did the other day. We've got our beautiful pineapple. This pineapple, $1. What a deal. First thing we're going to do is cut the top off. We can use this for a decoration or... We can just get rid of it. Whatever you want to do, sometimes it looks great on a fruit salad. So we are going to cut this one. Hardest part about cutting one is getting close enough to have just the fruit, but far enough in that you're not taking too much fruit. So you can always take your time to do this. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm telling you, it is, this is going to be fabulous. Probably don't even need the dip with I can feel the juice coming out. It looks and smells great. I'm going to get rid of this. And we are going to slice this into big rings. And then we'll make it into smaller pieces. Wow. 
cow. It is, smells so sweet, I can't even tell you. So we're going to set this aside. We're going to move on to our watermelon. There we go. Fabulous spot for our little guy there. This, again, is one of those yellow watermelons. Oh, it smells so sweet and delicious. I can tell it's crispy by the way it's, uh, by the way it's cutting. We're going to cut it in half. Now, you can do two things. You can either hollow this out and use this as a bowl and refill it with this fruit. But what I have is a really neat dish that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and slice some rings on this again. And we'll probably slice these into little wedges so you can pick them up with your hands and dip them into our sauce. Let's see how this looks. Oh, look at that gorgeous color. This is beautiful, and I guarantee you it's delicious. So we'll do the same thing to the other half of this watermelon. Now, one thing you want to remember to do before you start cutting your watermelon, and we've already done this here in the Wow Mom kitchen, is you want to rinse your watermelon off in case there's any pesticides or anything else like that on the watermelon you buy. Now, we know this one doesn't come with any of that. It came, came from Bee Green Produce, and it had no pesticides, no sprays of any kind. We know we're safe on this one, but you still want to give it a rinse. So, watermelon done. Beautiful watermelon. Now we're on to our peaches. We're going to slice these also into bigger pieces so that we can arrange these onto our tray. Just slice all the way around, try to twist, and look at that. That's a gorgeous peach right there. Oh, and it smells so good. So we're just going to make slices again so that we can have these ready to dip. And you notice I've kind of switched knives a couple of times. This is a knife for cutting fruit. So that's why I do that. Let's just keep going. And this, is, this one is just perfectly ripe. So when I try to take it off of the pit, these pieces are just going to peel right off. If they don't peel right off, it doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry. If things taste good, the way they look kind of gets forgiven a little bit. So we're going to plate all this up onto a wonderful plate. We're going to put it all together. We'll add that dip to it, and we'll be back and show you what everything looks like a little bit. Okay, we're cleaned up again and ready to move on to our salad. I'm going to show you how to do something that my sister-in-law taught me. She always makes a salad on a platter. That way everybody gets a little bit of everything and it's wonderful. So I'm going to show you. Here we go. We've got this lettuce that we got for 90 cents and the little yellow tomatoes we got for 50 cents. We're going to add in one of the peppers we got. We got three of these for $1.40 and this came out of the garden. So everything's going to go together. We're also going to add a little bit more to it. So I'm going to show you. Start out by cooking our cooking, chopping our lettuce. We're going to move our tomatoes out of the way. This is a very big head of lettuce. It looks amazing. It's very crispy, and I can't believe that we got this head of lettuce for almost nothing. So let's chop that up. We'll spread it out over the whole platter. And you'll see what I mean by a layered platter salad in just a minute here. Here we go. And you can use any platter you want. I'm using this one because I'm going to add a little bit into this little bowl we have here. A little extra something that not everyone's going to want on their salad. But if you have something that people don't like, you can always uh, put it in a little, a little dish on the side so that you can always add to it. Okay, look at this. This beautiful head of lettuce that we got for almost nothing covers this entire platter. Look at that. That is great. So what we're going to do next is we're going to spread these little yellow tomatoes out all over the salad. And what happens is that way everybody gets a little bit of everything when they pick everything up. So there's that, and now we are going to cut up our red tomato so we can add some more color and more flavor into our beautiful salad. That, oh, that looks and smells delicious. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this idea for the salad. Thank you to my sister-in-law, Jen, 
for telling me how to do this. So we're going to chop these up, kind of big chunks. We like big pieces of tomato in our salad. Do the same thing. We're going to spread them out over the entire salad. This is one big tomato, let me tell you. It has that awesome homegrown smell when you cut into a tomato and you just can't wait to take a bite. This has one of those. My mouth is watering again, just like the last week. So here we go. That looks amazing. Give you guys a little peek. There you go. What we're going to add that not everyone likes, I think it's delicious. We're going to add this beautiful orange bell pepper. We're going to cut it up, pulling out the seeds in the stem. And what we're going to do, switch knives here, we're going to make it into little pieces that you can spread out over your salad if you want to add this in. And we're going to put these in that little bowl that's sitting on the side here. This one big, beautiful bell pepper is going to take up that whole bowl, and it's going to make a fabulous presentation. It's a simple thing that you can get a serious wow out of. I recommend it, especially if you are uh, going somewhere and you're taking a salad with you. This is a fabulous way to do it. It travels well, it looks beautiful, and it tastes delicious. So here we go. Get all our little pieces in there. And look at this. We have a fabulous salad. As you pick a little piece up with your tongs, you're going to get a little bit of everything, and you can always add in some of this bell pepper. This is going to be a hit. We're going to check on our chicken, and we're going to get our fruit out and our dip and get it all together, and we'll show you the whole thing all finished when we're back. Okay, our chicken is out of the oven. I wish you could smell this. It is so delicious. Look at this. It's browned on top. It's beautiful green from the spinach and artichoke dip that we did. We're going to take a piece of this out and put it on a, on a plate right now so we can show you how awesome it is. Get our plate ready for dinner. So let's take one right here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's steaming. It's juicy. It looks fabulous. We're going to move this out of the way so we can dish up everything else. We've got a beautiful piece of chicken here. We're going to get uh, some of this salad. We're going to get some fruit. So here we go. Let's take some of this salad. Get it right over onto the plate. Look at that color. That is gorgeous. That is one heck of a salad, let me tell you. I want some of these uh, bell peppers. And we also snuck in a little bit of this green onion that I had growing fresh in the garden. I'm taking some of that too. So I'm going to put that all on there. We're going to add a little bit of fruit and have that dip. We've got the fruit right here. I would like some peaches because they look fabulous. We're going to add those onto the plate. Get a piece of watermelon here. We'll get a few pieces of pineapple. Looks and smells delicious. And I'm going to take some of these champagne grapes. Now, how does that look to you for a plate of food that I think anybody would love to have? That's a fabulous, well-rounded dinner right there. We also made with some of the lemon from our lemon juice. We cut up that lemon and made some basil lemonade. It's delicious. All I did was add a little bit of that raw sugar to it, stir it up, add some sparkling water and ice, and this is going to be a fabulous meal. I want to tell you thanks for hanging with Wow Mom again, and until we see you next time, keep on cooking with Wow. I'm going to have some of this.